What do you think we should do? Dude, if I have the ability to change into a dragon, that'd be just epicosity. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? I want to learn it, bro. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yes, I do, sir. Thank you. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. Wait, what? But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. So can I learn it? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I thought we already went over this, bro. We want to kill Alduin. It's none of your business. You might as well tell him. Yes, Alduin. Zembach. The elder brother. Gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Because I'm the only Dragonborn. Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. <laughs> do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? No, sir. I like the world. I don't know, what should I say? What should I say to him? What better way to, re to act? Whatever, I guess. If you can see your destiny clearly, your sight is clearer than mine. Dahman, remember, Alduin also follows his destiny as he sees it. But I bow before your certainty. In a way, I envy you. The curse of much knowledge is often indecision. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Because it's high up? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Mm, yes. 
Yes, and no. Vikhnuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Well, they weren't Dragonborn. I can just absorb his soul the once I use it. The lords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. But this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. I did. I remember using an Elder Scroll in, well, Elder Scrolls 4. So, might as well ask. I kind of know what it is, but I kind of forgot. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. That's it. Prophecy. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tidkrent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend, from those who created it. Go back in time? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Great, so I have to go on a little scavenger hunt for an Elder Scroll. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a. A seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. 
They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin, Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Korgon. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. How boring. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. I know Fus. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Drem Yolok, greetings. I don't know which one. I cannot. It Hold was on. said to force a drag. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. 
Unslad Sea, where mortal flesh may wither and die, 